living on the West Coast, I've tremendously enjoyed the uh, cruise being out uh, this year um, and last. Is there going to be effort to interleave years in the future? Talked about it? I guess just we'll listen to feedback. One thing is the Caribbean, there's so many more options, especially as a charter, that out of San Diego, um, it's going to look very similar and just the type of destinations in the Caribbean, all sorts of islands, uh, a number that you can go to that are more off the beaten path so we can give you an experience that maybe a typical cruise wouldn't have. So we'll never say never, but certainly it's been great uh, sailing out the West Coast, especially with the yeah. talent. Yeah, absolutely. It's, I, we don't have specific plans per se, but part of, as Storm said before, part of this is keeping things fresh and interesting for you and for ourselves. And there's a lot that we've loved about sailing off out of the West Coast. So it is certainly in our future calculus. It's not like we're, we're never coming back or anything like that. We just don't know uh, the, the roadmap yet for future years beyond next year. And when we're, when we're evaluating, uh, you know, which week, which ship, which itinerary, which coast, uh, you know, that's the process that we actually get bids from, uh, from cruise lines for different particular weeks. And their schedules, they have other charters, uh, and the, the prices change depending on the time of year and who knows what else. So, um, you know, we see a price tag uh, and, a, and a coast and a, and a date and um, an itinerary. And from there, we have to evaluate sort of what is best for us that year in order to keep it interesting, to keep costs down for you guys. So for us to, it, it would be hard, uh, the way things are working right now, it would be hard for us to commit to say, let's do East Coast this year and West Coast next year, because, because it may be the case that there isn't a West Coast uh, itinerary or ship that is, uh, that is cheap enough. For instance, for us to offer the same the same value that we do, so it's it's hard to it's hard to make that rule. But we are certainly mindful of the idea that uh, there are uh, pros and cons for everybody uh, that change depending on which coast which coast we're on. So yeah, I hope I hope it's it's not going to be one or the other forever, and we'll be back and forth. But it's hard to predict. Yeah, Margo, if you have a West Coast departure, it's say next October for fifty thousand dollars, we'll take it. Yeah. <laughs>